Would you take a quick moment and uh, have your friends join us by pressing share on your Facebook site so that your friends, your loved ones can join us. Welcome to Prayer for America. I'm Walter Zagarevich, and I'm joined by missionary evangelists Tony and Marge Abram. Would you greet the people, Tony and Marge? Well, we greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus and praise God for the victory. And the victory has been paid for in fuel full by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we can't lose for winning. And if he be for us, who then can be against us? Is that right, Mark? Amen. And we serve a great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so we come to you with Brother Walter here tonight, sharing what God means to us and what he wants to do for you tonight as we pray and believe God together. Amen and amen. God is getting ready to do some fantastic things. Uh, yesterday morning, it was morning here in the U.S. It was evening in the Ukraine. I had a wonderful service uh, with uh, the church in Kherson, and it was broadcast on television there, uh, uh, reaching people not only in Ukraine, but in Russia and Germany and in Israel, as well as other parts of the world. And Brother Dean Turner was also on almost simultaneously at Christ the Only Hope Church in Zaporozhye, Ukraine. Well, it is... Uh, a wonderful evening here in the United States, and welcome uh, to Prayer for America. As I've said before, this is not just uh, Prayer for America. We are praying for the nations, and we are praying for your needs. Take a moment and write us your needs if you want us to include them in the broadcast this evening. Um, Brother Tony and Sister Marge, I know that uh, you've had quite the week this week with the, uh, um, with the sadness uh, of the passing of Sister Barb Abram a few days ago. And uh, this morning we had heard from friends in Manchester England who have lost uh, their sister and, uh, and, and uh, uh, someone who has been very dear to our friend Andy in Manchester, uh, his sister, and of course uh, uh, they have other siblings and uh, the families in mourning and we mourn with you. We understand um, that it is a difficult time, but at the same time, we know that she was a believer and you folks are believers and we know that sister barb abram has gone to be with the lord and sister odette in uh, manchester has also gone to be with the lord um, and so some are in mourning i know that brother peter serdichenko well-known pastor and uh, in ukraine had passed away a few days ago as well and uh, we are mourning with that family as well and their loved ones. But uh, this evening, we want to focus also on what God wants to do in your life. So open your heart to the Lord and let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Father, we thank you that you are with us. So you are with us when things are going well. You are with us when we are passing through difficult situations. And Lord, we pray that your peace and your uh, your your under your uh, blessings and, and your presence presence would be very real in the Abrams and, and uh, Sister Barb Abrams siblings and family uh, in different parts of the U.S. And Lord, we also pray for the Serdichenko family and their loved ones that you would come for them in this hour. And Father, we do lift up our friend Andy Taylor, Manchester, United Kingdom, and we pray that you would comfort him as he mourns the loss of his sister Odette. And Lord, we just send your word to him and his family asking you to touch them and to strengthen them in this difficult time. And Father, we commit this broadcast to you and we thank you for what you are getting ready to do tonight. Amen and amen. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sister Marge, you had something special for us this evening. Would yes. you take it from here? 
Well, I just, I was reading the word and this has been on my heart. I, I realize we serve such a great God, don't we? We serve a great God and the Bible says he's the king above all gods. He's the king of kings. Remember what Peter said. He said, we didn't follow fables or myths. He said, we followed, uh, we came to our our a great king, our, ma his majesty. It was his majesty, the great king above all gods. He said, uh, we were up on the holy mount with him and we saw him transfigured before our eyes, said, said we are serving our great, great king, the king, the majesty on high, who's Jesus. And I, I just think, remember when Peter said, let's build three tabernacles, but you know, Jesus is greater than any prophet or any, uh, any king or anyone. He's the king above all gods. And so Jesus said, Peter, you don't know what you're saying. But and then the voice of God spoke and said, hear him, hear, this is my beloved son, hear him. So tonight we want to hear from God. We want to hear what he has to say and what he wants to do for us. Because uh, Peter said, we didn't follow tales or stories or myths, but we followed our great king, his majesty. Praise God. We serve such a great God tonight. Amen. And the the word seems to promote continually in the New Testament that we are to be living stones, living testimonies of for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. A lot of believers think that once they are saved, that's it. They just wait till they get to heaven. But no, God has a re puts a responsibility on every one of us, and that is to share the gospel, to be living witnesses. That's why you, Brother Walter, with your wife, Nina, are working like you are. Yes, <clears throat> the pandemic has kind of uh, hindered having cru crusades and, and uh uh, pull, you know, that type of ministry where you're reaching personally with people where you're laying on of hands and speaking the word of God. <clears throat> but God has opened up these avenues, and that's why you're working diligently to witness to the gospel. And so God calls all of us to share the gospel by living it, by speaking it, by demonstrating it. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a whole lot. Matter of fact, I want to share with you 20 little short one-liners where you have no excuse. I know that you've driven by churches and you've seen their billboard and it may be a sentence or something, but it catches your eye because it's a witness. But let me share these with you quickly. Number one, give God what's right, not what's left. Number two, man's way leads to a hopeless end. God's way leads to an endless hope. A lot of kneeling will keep you in good standing. He who kneels before God can stand before anyone. Are you wrinkled and burdened? Come to church. Come to the broadcast for a face lift. When praying, don't give God instructions. Just listen to his word, what he's saying to you. <clears throat> Number seven, don't wait for six strong men to take you to church. Number eight, we don't change God's message. His message changes us. So you see these little little things can open up opportunities for you to share Christ. The church is prayer conditioned. <laughs> Number 10, plan ahead. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. Number 11, most people want to serve God, but only in an advisory position. I know that many of us, when we pray or when we go for counsel, how many people we meet that says, oh, Brother Abram, bro, Brother Tony, 
this is, can you, can you help me with the will of God? Well, when you do tell them that God's word is God's will and God's will is God's word, they're, they, they don't like to accept it because actually they want their will. Well, suffering from truth, decay, brush up on your Bible. Exercise daily, walk with the Lord. Never give the devil a ride because he always wants to be the driver. <laughs> Nothing else ruins the truth like stretching it. He who angers you controls you. Give Satan an inch and he'll take a ruler. Be ye fishers of men and you'll catch them and he'll clean them. Number 19, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. And then the last one, read the Bible and you'll find it scares the hell out of you. <laughs> oh, yes, the word. When Jesus starts preaching about hell, uh, it, 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 will, it will do something to you. And so little one-liners open up opportunities to do the will of God, and that is to share Jesus. When, you, when you're a witness, you just tell what God's done for you. See, nobody can take that away from you. If you have been a Bible college uh, or Bible cemetery, I mean Bible seminary, uh, you 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 learn from your testimony to share it, and nobody can take that away from you. Amen, brother Amen. Walter. So I think God's calling us. That's why you're doing this tonight. Not only to pray for people, but be a witness to the fact that God can do anything if we can believe. All things are possible. And I sense in my spirit, even when Marge was speaking there, that God wanted to do some great things for many people through this broadcast. Amen, amen and amen. And, you know, um, God does not want to be our part-time consultant to, if we, <laughs> to dovetail with what you were just sharing. And, and, but that many times people make uh, God's advice and God's uh, direction. Uh, they go to God only when they're in trouble, but God wants us to always go to him. Well, God is getting ready to do some marvelous things in the U.S. and around the world. I believe he's getting ready to pour out of his spirit. And I believe that we're going to see signs and wonders like we have not, or like most people have not seen in their lifetimes. I know Brother Tony and Sister Marge, myself, we've seen many, many miracles, many signs and wonders. But even that, I believe God is going to do that and more in these last days. And I believe that we are in the beginnings of that end time revival. I believe that there is a spiritual hunger that is uh, manifesting in people's lives. Uh, and uh, we were hoping and thinking that everything would go back to normal uh, after a year with this uh, pandemic. And yet uh, it, it just seems to drag on. But you know what? It may not go back back to what we call normal. And of course, there are people who would like to do a certain type of reset globally and, uh, and to put in place things that would usher in the Antichrist. But I don't believe it is time yet for that. And God has got his reset. And I believe God whose report will I believe I will believe have the report of the Lord. And I believe that revival is yet to come before the coming of Jesus Christ. I know that may disappoint some of you because some of you were probably going to the closet and pulling out those rapture robes. But, <laughs> but you know what? Uh, just save them, hold on to them. Uh, there will be another time. There'll be the day for going up to meet Jesus. But right now, it's time to work for the Lord. It's time to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ and to fulfill what Jesus said. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached, shall be preached unto all nations, 
and then the end will come. Well, uh, the gospel of the kingdom is being preached in many parts of the world, but there are still unreached areas. And we are reaching out to different parts of the world through this broadcast, but we are also uh, supporting missionaries in other parts of the world that we ourselves will be going back uh, as uh, when the Lord opens up those doors for us to be able to go overseas again. But right now we are ministering through uh, this means and whatever means is possible. And uh, uh, Brother and Sister Abram are, are taking on a number of uh, church plants. Um, they've done this all over the world, but they are uh, taking on church plants in Nepal as we are, and we're going to see more souls coming into the kingdom of God. Uh, Brother and Sister Abram have helped to buy many, many uh, buildings for churches and how that is needed today. Places like Ukraine for, and Russia, churches that have their own building are, were able to meet, uh, even if it was in reduced capacity at some moments, but they were able to meet and continue on, whereas people that were just renting facilities ended up on the street. But there is a harvest that is coming, and I believe that we're going to see a harvest like we have not seen before. And I believe that that is soon to happen, and we need places to bring those new believers in. And so we're thankful for what God has done through Brother Tony and Sister Marge in the nations of the world. And uh, we're going to be praying for different needs. If you have a need and you want to jot us a quick note, do that. But Brother Tony, um, don't you sense that there is revival coming in, uh, from the Lord before Jesus returns? I, I believe that. I believe that uh, even if this is the beginning of sorrows, that great revival is going to uh, take place before the coming of the Lord. And so, uh, and maybe uh, when things get even rougher, we're going to see that revival just get stronger and stronger. I believe that even during this pandemic, there has been countless thousands, thousands that have come to Christ. And just because the enemy is attacking, that doesn't mean God has lost his power. God's power is still flowing. And I believe there is coming a time when people are going to be more and more dependent upon looking to the Lord as their source. Now, in the United States, uh, not everybody has received it, and not everyone will receive it, but they have been giving money out, sending checks out. Well, that money isn't the answer. Christ is the answer. And if you're looking just to that help from the government, that's all you can have. But if you look to the Lord, there is no limit what God can do. And something much more important than money is the move of the Spirit of God where people will be coming into the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. God wants to pull people out of the kingdom of darkness and bring them into the kingdom of the power and anointing of God. God's kingdom of light. And sometimes along that way, there's difficulties like right now with the pandemic. But praise the Lord, God is bringing people out of darkness into light. And did you know that if you are still stuck in darkness, spiritual darkness, if you're having depression, fear, anxiety, I want to tell you, tonight is the night that you can get out of that and be have a release by the power of God. Because as we pray tonight, God is answering prayer. Even right now, while we're talking, I believe the Holy Spirit is at work. He's in Texas. He's in Alabama. He's in Canada. He's in South America. He's in Asia. He's in Africa. He's everywhere. And he's ready to work in our lives if we only let him. 
So I believe God's going to do some good things and is doing it already, Brother Walter. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God is, and I believe we need to stop and pray for those who do not know Jesus as their Savior and want to come out of that kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, God's kingdom. And Brother Tony, would you lead those people to the Lord? Yes. You that want to get free of, uh, of the power of the enemy and have your sins forgiven, tonight is your night. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Why don't you take your hand, put it on your heart as a point of contact. Oh, the Spirit of God's right there where you are, in your home, yes. in that sick room, yes. in that hospital, Amen. or wherever you're watching, the Spirit of God is there. Yes. And right now, this is the greatest miracle that can ever happen in anyone's life when they are transported, when they are translated, when God takes you out of the power and, and the fist, the hand of Satan and breaks that bondage and brings you into his kingdom, the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Pray this prayer. Pray it from your sincerity of your heart. Say, Our Father, which art in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I open my heart. Search me, O God. See what wicked way is in me and forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me in your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. Lord, with your help, I am free in Jesus' name, free from the bondage of sin and darkness, free from the power that Satan would try to put over me with anxiety, with fear, in the name of Jesus, confess, I am free. I am free indeed, because Jesus makes me free. And then, Heavenly Father, as I receive Jesus Christ as my personal Savior, I pray that you help me to live for you and never slip out of your hand into the clutches of the enemy. But I want to live for you. I want to honor you. And I want to confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord of my spirit, Lord of my mind, Lord of my body. And with your help, Lord, I am going to live for you. I'm going to serve you as my own personal Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And if you meant what you just prayed, then God certainly means what he says. He says, if you come to me, I shall no wise cast out. He'll never turn anyone away. And because the Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And that's what you've done. And don't let the devil come and say, oh, that was nothing. No, God says, God says, if you come to me, I won't turn you away. God says, if you call upon his name, he would save you. And I believe he's doing it right now. Do three things every day. Uh, if I don't tell you, Brother Walter would tell you, but do the three things. Talk to God every day. Talk to him like a friend. 
you, we call it prayer. When you get up in the morning, even if you say, good morning, Lord, I'm glad I'm alive and you are Lord. And second, let God talk to you. If you don't have a Bible, get one. Get and start reading the gospel of St. John in the New Testament because the New Testament is God's will for you. And third, get into some Bible-believing church. Get into a church that loves God and preaches salvation, that you can have a personal relationship with God and talk to others. Tell, tell others in your family that you have now surrendered your life to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and you belong to him. And we're going to be continue to pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, if you just tuned in, this is Prayer for America. I'm Walter Zagarevich with Global Vision Ministries. And with me are our missionary evangelist, Tony and Marge Abram. And we are praying for America because America needs revival. America needs a fresh move of God. And we are believing for God's intervention in this nation. We are believing that God's plans and God's purposes for this nation will be fulfilled. And what happens in America affects the rest of the world. So that is why our focus has been praying for America. But we are also praying for the nations of the world. And we have been praying for specific needs that people have brought to our attention. And God has been answering prayer. And we have received testimonies of healings, of answered prayer, and God's intervention. So let's keep believing. Let's keep trusting God. With God, all things are possible. And Jesus Christ it has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and always. Well, this evening, let's pray for America. Let's pray for revival in this nation. And a little bit later, we will pray for your needs. Uh, if you want to jot us a quick note with a prayer request, do that. We will include that during the broadcast. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we lift up the United States of America and we come against every principality, every ruler of darkness that has lifted itself or himself up against the knowledge of God, against the purposes and plan of God. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I break their hold. I break those demonic holds over this nation. I break that witchcraft. I break that uh, those uh, uh, curses that may have been spoken or written or thought against this nation, I break them and cast them down in the name of Jesus Christ and declare them null and void. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we invite, O oh God, your rule, your governance, your direction, your blessing. Oh, God, have mercy on the United States of America. Visit this nation once again with power and strength, bringing conviction to the sinner, bringing salvation to the sinner, bringing healing to the brokenhearted, bringing healing to the sick and afflicted in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we invite your governance, your rule. We say your kingdom come to Washington, D.C., to, the fed, to those who will rule in the federal government. Lord, we say your kingdom come, your will be done in every state capital, in every township, in every county, in every city of this nation, in all of its territories. When we declare Jesus Christ is Lord over the United States of America and America will be saved and revival is coming. We release the Holy Spirit. We release God's holy angels, the host of heaven. Go forth into the harvest fields of this nation. Shake this land up and bring revival. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Sister March, would you pray for Canada and other regions as the Lord leads you? 
Yes, Brother Walter. Heavenly Father, we come to you again, and we just thank you, Lord, that you are hearing our prayers as Brother Walter prayed, Lord. You were hearing those requests, Lord, and those prayers. And Father, for America and for north of the border, Lord, we pray for Canada. Lord, we pray for the provinces of Canada, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. Lord, we pray for all of these in the territories, Northwest Territory, Yukon Territory. Lord, we pray for all of these. Lord, Lord we pray for them and Labrador. And we pray, Lord, for uh, North also, Lord, for Greenland and Iceland, Lord, and the Baffin Islands and all these islands, Lord, North and East and West and East, Lord. We pray for them. We pray for the government of Canada. The Lord. We pray for the Prime Minister, his family, Lord, that they would know Jesus as their Savior. And Lord, we just pray for the moving of your Holy Spirit in all the hearts of the people, Lord. We pray, Father, for the mayors of the cities. We pray for the police force. We pray for all of them, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask you to move by your Spirit using your ministries, Lord, in Jesus' name. And as we pray for them, we pray for Pastor Coates and Lord, your continued blessing on him as Lord, he continues to preach the gospel, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for him and his wife and their testimonies that we've heard. Father, declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord. And Father, just move by your spirit and send the mighty move of God, the revival of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you that you're moving by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Brother Tony, would you pray for the United Kingdom and Europe and other parts of the world as the Lord leads you? Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, Father, in the name of in Jesus, Jesus as we continue to pray for the nations, <clears throat> Lord, I first of all, I pray for Brother Walter and Sister Nina, who's spearheading this prayer uh, yes. vigil each almost each night so many nights of the week and, yes. and we pray you strengthen them and bless them and prosper them and then father in the name of jesus as we continue to bring the nations uh, the united kingdom and north ireland lord and south ireland and scotland and the islands uh, lord the canary islands uh, oh, in the goodness. name of jesus uh, Lord, uh, uh, even uh, those uh, in s the Southern Hemisphere, as my wife mentioned, Falkland Islands, uh, that we pray for all them, Lord, uh, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Uh, and then, Lord, uh, for Scandinavia, you know, they're good people, but Lord, uh, they are very formal, and most of them do not go to church ever. Most of Europe is like that now, Lord, where it used to be the, the uh, foundation uh, part of the Christianity. Now it has just grown cold, and, and no longer is it sending out missionaries. Missionaries have to be sent there. And then the heathen are taking over. And we pray for Finland, Lord. We pray for uh, Norway, for Denmark, Lord, uh, that you would just move upon those nations in the name of Jesus, uh, upon Germany, Lord, where less than 1%, uh, when they're able, they don't go to church, only will go to church, uh, Lord. Uh, and that's where Martin Luther started the great reformation and how it is gone backwards father we pray for the countries of luxembourg yes. lord we pray for all the small kingdoms that are uh, across europe uh, from the vatican lord uh, to uh, every one of them even in uh, northern uh, spain lord uh, and over uh, uh, lord in jesus name uh, uh, save those people we pray in spain in portugal in italy uh, in san Marino. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, we pray for Austria. We pray for 
the former uh, communist countries of Eastern Europe, uh, like Romania, Bulgaria, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Czech and Slovakia, Lord, Poland, uh, then, of course, the three Latvia, uh, uh, Lithuania, Estonia, Lord, uh, Ukraine and Russia, my Lord, save those, Armenia and Georgia and the other countries located there. We don't, and we don't want to forget, Lord, uh, the countries further south uh, in uh, Greece. Uh, oh, where one time there were many churches, Lord, Thessalonia, C- Corinthia, and all those, Lord. Uh, and now, Lord, uh, they have gone from the way from the things of God. Uh, we pray for Turkey, for Israel, Lord, uh, and all the countries surrounding Israel, the the Arab countries there, in Jesus' name, uh, Lord, that you will save them and set them free. We see that Satan has tried to bind them uh, and draw them away from the things of God, Uh, but Lord, we ask that you will move uh, by your spirit, uh, by your power, uh, in Crimea, Lord, uh, undertake uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, And Lord, though I miss some countries, uh, you you haven't forgotten them, like Jordan, Lord, uh, and Lebanon, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Lord, uh, we ask that you just move uh, and salvation might come to all these countries, beginning with the leadership, Lord, uh, from the from the prime ministers, uh, from the kings, uh, from Lord, the presidents, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, it's easy to criticize people like Putin and so forth uh, but lord we pray that you save them uh, yes. let the let the grace let them taste of the grace of god uh, and let them be turned lord uh, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's light uh, in the yes. name of jesus yes. uh, and lord we just ask that you move uh, move across lord uh, into uh, yes. china and lord into uh, mongolia and siberia Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, we pray that you would just move and save uh, those precious souls uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. uh, Lord, do it, we pray in Jesus' name. Brother Walter, he comes. Yes, Lord, we, re- we release revival in China, a great and mighty move of the Spirit of God. May the wind of the Holy Spirit sweep the land of China, and may the Holy Spirit sweep the land of the rising sun, Japan, and Lord God, Indonesia, and uh, uh, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, uh, all the islands of South Pacific, the Philippines. Philippines, Nepal, Bhutan, uh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Lord, uh, uh, Myanmar, all that region, moved by your spirit, may your power go forward, embolden your church, embolden your laborers in those nations, in the name of Jesus, and Lord, we lift up Nepal in a special way this evening as there's preparation going uh, for the planting of new churches lord we just lift up those laborers we lift up those future pastors that will be raising up new churches in the name of jesus and lord god we pray for pastor Deepak. we pray for his father who is in recovery from covid and heart issues we thank you for healing him and we send you word, touch him and heal him in Jesus name from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet Lord we send your word to him right now to Dan Basel in Nepal in Jesus name and Father God we pray for the nations of the world in Central Asia, Kyrgyzstan Uzbekistan, Tajikistan oh God move by your spirit those nations in Kazakhstan in Mongolia, oh God in Tatarstan in the Federal Republic of Russia, Lord in uh, in, in Dagestan, Lord in uh, the Muslim regions of the Russian Federation, we pray that you would cause a hunger for Jesus to arise in the hearts of people for we know there are many who are seeking for truth, seeking for the one and true God. Reveal yourself to them, Lord Jesus, we pray for Afghanistan 
and for Turkey and for uh, uh, also for Azerbaijan, for Georgia, for Ossetia, South Ossetia, for Abhazia. Lord, we lift up Iran and uh, Iraq to you, uh, Saudi Arabia, Yemen. Uh, Lord, we lift up the African continent, East Africa, West Africa, North Africa, Southern Africa, and Central Africa. Oh God, sweep those nations, encourage, uh, strengthen your church, strengthen, oh God, your service, uh, Pastor Captain in Mombasa. Oh God, uh, Pastor Peter in Nairobi, pa Bishop Peter there. Oh God, uh, the other Peter there in Nairobi. And Lord, uh, uh, oh God, move by your spirit. Bless Bishop Okinda there in Kenya. Lord, I pray your blessing upon that nation. May that nation shine as a beacon of light to the horn of Africa, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we pray for Uganda, for Malawi, for Rwanda. Lord, we pray for Congo, for Central African Republic, for Nigeria, for Ghana, for Togo, for Ivory Coast. Oh God, for Liberia. Oh God, move by your spirit throughout that continent in the southern regions as well. Oh Lord, in the northern regions, uh, sweep those nations with the wind of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we speak peace over Jerusalem. We send your peace, your shalom of your people. And we pray that you would send, uh, oh God, that mighty rushing wind. Uh, it first came to Jerusalem. May it come again to Jerusalem. And may Jewish evangelists arise there in your nation to take the gospel to other the other corners of the earth. Oh, Father God, we thank you for that revival that is coming to America. We thank you for the beginnings of that revival. We thank you that you are putting a hunger in people's lives right now here in America, in Canada, in Mexico, in Central America, in South America. Oh, God, in the great nation of Brazil, in Argentina, Chile, oh, Paraguay, Bolivia, Ecuador, Oh, Peru, oh God, oh, Paraguay, Uruguay, move by your spirit in every nation of South America, Venezuela, and Colombia, oh God, uh, Guyana, Suriname, all that region, move by your spirit. Oh God, in the Cuba, we have had prayer requests for the churches in Cuba, strengthen the leaders, strengthen the believers in Cuba. Lord God, I declare Cuba belongs to Jesus. Lord, it is where uh, the, the Caribbeans, where uh, the, uh, the uh, Columbus and his uh, uh, accomplices had first come. And Lord God, uh, to, they were bringing Christianity amongst other things. And Lord God, may there be a revival. May there be a new wave of Christianity and the power of God manifested in Cuba and Dominican Republic and Haiti and in uh, uh, Puerto Rico and all the islands of the uh, Caribbean and Bahamas and Trinidad, Tobago, Aruba, all of those uh, islands in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Brother Tony, there are people that uh, are in need of healing. Uh, would you pray? You prayed for healing of people all over the world. God has healed yes. uh, paralytics, blind, deaf. I've seen it with my own eyes. There are people who are in need of prayer just as the Lord leads you. Would you pray right now? Our Heavenly Fathers, we continue before you in the name of Jesus as we prayed for the nations, we prayed for the people within them, the leadership, but there are particular ones, Lord, <clears throat> that we want to pray for. And Lord, we want to remember uh, John and Hansha, Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, that what they're going through, Lord, uh, that you see how they have served you in Asia, and now they're going through this terrible ordeal. We send the word to them. Uh, and then, Lord, remember John in, in Holland, Lord, as he's recuperated from the virus, uh, Lord, uh, keep him and his yeah. family, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, for, Lord, you can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. Uh, and we think of ministries like Michelle over there uh, in Ukraine uh, ministering, Lord. Uh, there's doors open to her. A blessing.
bless her, we pray, and protect her in the name of Jesus. Uh, and then Steve, Lord, you, you see, uh, he, he called and requested prayer for his granddaughter where she's expecting, Lord, uh, and that now she's bleeding uh, and uh, only five months, five months pregnant, but bleeding. Uh, we ask that you heal and stop that blood flow, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we send the word to, to Daryl and Vanessa, Lord, as they make that big move. Uh, and though he's coming to semi-retirement, uh, we ask in the name of Jesus uh, that you restore their health, uh, both of them, and that they may be used mightily in the kingdom of God, uh, for nothing is impossible. And then we send the word uh, all the way down to uh, to. Papua New Guinea, where Dr. Adams is ministering, Lord, uh, to the sick in the hospital uh, as he lives or keep him from the virus. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, as he prays the prayer of faith while doing uh, the work of a physician like Dr. Luke in the Bible, Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus uh, that you protect him, anoint him uh, in the name of Jesus. And then Pat, Lord, uh, that's suffering with that, with that, uh, depression, Lord, and that thyroid gland. We send the word of healing. And then Kenny, Lord, oh, Lord, so many requests from him for his family. But we also thank you for the victory, like Tim, Lord, that God, you've answered prayer, and you have taken that which seemed like darkness and turned it into light. And that one that was going to commit suicide tried to commit suicide, but now seems the be on the way to recovery and healing in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you, Lord, uh, for your healing power, Lord. Uh, and there's many others out there that are suffering. We think of the cancers like Betty's uh, uh, daughter, no, granddaughter, Lord, her husband, how he's suffering with that cancer. We come Jesus. against it in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, you are a healer. We hate that cancer because it took my sister-in-law here, Lord, last week. Uh, but Lord, you are a healer. Lord, we curse cancers uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, you are able. R Lord, remember Doug, uh, he had that uh, tumor or whatever it was on the top of his head uh, or the back of his head uh, there in England. Uh, Lord, we send the word uh, in the Jesus' name. We curse the roots of it, Lord. Uh, not, not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God, uh, Lord. And then, uh, Brother uh, Langford, uh, Lord, uh, we ask for recovery. This man of God who has served you for so many years he and his wife. Uh, and now, Lord, the enemy would like to uh, sh shut him down. But Lord, if you be for us, who can be against us? And now, Lord, we bring all the people in all the nations that are watching right now. We bring their sickness and their ailments. Uh, Lord, I know Brother Walter has a, a big group, and we've only given a portion of all those that are requesting prayer. But Lord, in the name of of Jesus. Uh, we ask right now, we speak the word of healing to those eyes, healing to those ears, uh, healing to that brain, uh, healing to that throat, uh, healing to that thyroid uh, gland uh, condition. Lord, healing. Uh, let that arthritis begin to melt uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we even speak to the mouths, Lord, where they need healing for their teeth. And I think of Brother Costal there in Romania, who has has a broken bridge. Lord, you can give him a miracle and fill his mouth with teeth. Yeah. Nothing is impossible with you, Lord. Yeah. And in that stomach condition, those ulcers, those kidneys, the bladder, that 
that liver, Lord, in Jesus' name, into the prostate, that female condition. We send the word in the name of Jesus. Lord, you see every type of disease, but Lord, you bore a stripe for every category of disease in the world. By your stripes, we were healed. And Lord, we send the word in that 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 anxiety, that uh, claustrophobia, Lord, uh, that depression, uh, that bipolar uh, condition. We send the word in Jesus' name. We think of Donna up there, uh, Harley's wife. Uh, you see the shingles, uh, the pain that she has, uh, and we speak in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, uh, and others that may have it. Uh, and then, Lord, we bring the big one, the one that we believe that was born in the pits of hell. We can blame China. We can blame mankind. We can blame uh, uh, them playing with it uh, in laboratories. Uh, but, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, I believe it was born in the pits of hell. And that is the COVID the, uh, virus that is killing so many people. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, and we send the word of healing, the word of deliverance. Uh, you see so many in the hospital, Lord. The hospitals are full of people suffering with it. Uh, and Lord, in Jesus' name, we curse every virus uh, in that people have in the name of Jesus. And we speak the word of healing. Now we see we say to you that have pain, feel for the pain. Take your healing right now. We tell people if they want to receive healing, ask God, believe God, and put your faith in action. In the name of Jesus, do what you couldn't do. If you couldn't walk, walk. If you were deaf, Listen, if you couldn't see, open your eyes. Uh, if you couldn't twist your neck, twist it. Uh, if you couldn't bend over, bend over. And this morning when my wife was praying, uh, or yesterday morning for that one that called long distance uh, and Lord needed prayer, and as Marge prayed for her, that hand came loose and was healed. It didn't happen until she put her faith in action. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, what you did for Marianne, uh, you can do for others right now. Oh, there's something happening. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. I don't care if it's cancer, or the virus, or whatever it might be. Receive in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's something happening, Brother Walder. Oh, Kodama Hasiandra. Something happened. Amen. Amen. Something is happening. We release the power of the Holy Spirit. We release that peace of God into your heart. We command every spirit of fear. Come out in the name of Jesus. We command every spirit of infirmity. Yes. Come out. Loosen your hold in Jesus' name right now receive your healing you have been prayed for now begin to activate your faith begin to try to do what you could not do before believing that god has touched you receive that healing make it yours say it is mine i am healed and begin to thank god begin to praise him hallelujah thank you jesus thank you for my healing by your stripes i am healed just begin to confess that begin to praise him Oh, that manifestation is right there. Some of you are feeling a warmth like liquid fire touching you, going through your body right now. Some of you are sensing uh, a, 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 a touch of God. The pain is leaving. It, oh, hallelujah. God is touching. I just want to lift up Oscar right now in the name of Jesus. Those discs go back into place. Be healed. Vertebrae, be healed. Be straightened out in Jesus' name. Every trace of arthritis leave in jesus name and that high blood pressure 
Come down in Jesus' name and Joe, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over the high blood pressure. And in the name of Jesus, I speak healing to the heart, healing to that body in Jesus' name. And Lord, whatever the cause of that high blood pressure, correct it, fix it, heal that one in Jesus. And heal Joe right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus, that you are touching people. Thank you, Lord, that you are healing. Receive your healing. Just receive right now. Begin to thank God. Begin to try to do what you could not do. Put your faith into action right now in Jesus' name. Brother Walter, uh, I, I just feel kind of led to share this testimony. Uh, a couple of years back, we were preaching in... Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the city in Argentina, small city, and it was during their winter, summer here, of course, winter there, and we were in the largest building in the in the town, and uh, we had people standing outside. We had speakers outside. Uh, the there was a big crowd out there. There was the vestibule was full. The place was full, and I preached and gave the invitation first of all to receive Christ because that's the most important that's the greatest miracle and people were trying to squeeze come forward well amongst them coming forward were two people with cataracts and while they were coming forward the, the cataracts literally melted and fell off their eyes and people were being healed well to make it make it short uh, at the very end they brought three people forward that were deaf in one ear and uh, we i tested them real quick there and uh, i mean the auditorium was packed if the uh if the people the firemen would have came there they would have probably shut us down because i think it only held maybe four or five hundred people we had like sardines you know and uh, but anyway they squeezed these three they testified they were healed and i i said it and you heard, have heard me say this, I know, in some of the crusades. Come tomorrow night, bring uh, three more people, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Spirit. And, uh, of course, I don't know where we put them. We got three more the next night. Let's stand outside. Well, anyways, we finally got back to our, they had a house where we were staying. And Mike Brandabura was with us and then Anatoly Risco. And, uh, anyways, early in the morning, here's a pound on the door. And uh, I went to the door, and uh, it was the head pastor. Uh, when you get older, you can't pull all these Pablo, names. Pablo, wasn't it? Pablo. No, no, it wasn't Pablo. Uh, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> he, he comes in and he grabs me, and he says, ah, Hermano Tony, sabe que pasa la noche? Do you, Brother Tony, you know what happened last night? And I says, well, he, we, we had a great service. No, do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? I says, well, tell me. And he was so excited. And he says, do you remember those last three people we, you, that, you, that testified healing in their ear? And I said, yes. He said, do you know what happened? I said, well, tell me what happened. He said, when those people testified, everyone in that auditorium that was deaf or had ear problems but were deaf, everyone in the vestibule everyone on the outside on the street that were deaf god in that moment opened up every ear wow yeah. so that was a mass prayer. see god we were the people were excited about these three but god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think and while we're rejoicing with three he's probably healing hundreds of people so I believe that's what happens tonight. And people that are being healed, confess it and tell others about it. Amen. Amen. That's the way to keep and, it. And Brother Walter, uh, yeah. as yeah. the anointing of the Lord is here, I'm thinking of some children with autism. We haven't mentioned autism, but uh, there's, there's some relatives, too, of mine that have children that have autism. And I'd like to pray for them now, too, if you all would agree with me. Mm -hmm. And, Father, we just bring these to you, yes. these children that have autism, Jesus, Lord. Father, we pray, God. Father, for... Uh, uh, the one in uh, in British Columbia, Lord, we pray for 
uh, he, his son, Lord, I pray for him right now, Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, for Terry, Lord, for his, his family, Lord, I pray for the son, Lord, I pray for uh, also for uh uh, the the ones that Lord we have requested for pr they have requested for prayer Father in Jesus name I pray Father for uh, Alexander Lord there in Edmonton area Lord we have been praying for him Lord and I believe he's getting better continue Lord to heal him and Lord for Russell's son Father I pray for Brody Lord in Jesus name I ask for healing for him I send the word and I command those spirits of autism to leave their bodies in Jesus' name. In Austin, Lord, also, Austin, uh, also the son there, Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray for him right now. And we speak the word of the Lord over all of them as we agree together. And Father, in Jesus' name, Matthew's son also. Father, heal him. Lord, these children with autism, we command that the spirit of the Lord would just reach them and heal them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Things. Yes. Amen. We lift up children around the world who need healing right now, um, it, whether it be autism, Amen. whether it be other conditions. Lord, we bring them up to you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, uh, any of that may have low platelet counts. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing over them right now. Yes, Lord. Healing over their immune system. Healing over their body. In bodies. Jesus' Lord, name. Lord, in Jesus' name, I send your word. Touch those children. Heal their bodies Jesus. right now in Jesus' name. And I command that fear to leave them, to leave their parents and uh, hearts. But Lord, fill their hearts with faith and hope and love. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, thank you for touching Valencia. Thank you for touching Eva. Thank you for touching others, Lord. In Jesus' name, right now, Lord, little children around the world who need a touch of you, of, of your power, I send your word. Touch them and heal them right now. Oh, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, it's been a wonderful evening here in America, and it may be morning in Asia, if that's where you are watching us from. And you may be watching us after this was already uh, alive, and it doesn't matter. God will still touch you if you believe. So just uh, make that yours. When we pray for your healing, say, it is mine. You have to receive it. You have to accept it by faith and make it yours, own it, and begin to thank God for that healing. And at the first opportunity, test yourself to see what God has done. And don't forget to give God the glory and to write us. Well, uh, Brother Tony has already prayed for those who needed salvation, but this is what Peter said to those who gathered on the day of Pentecost, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit for the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off as many as the Lord our God will call. Well, uh, if you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, God wants to fill you with his Holy Spirit. He wants to bless you and bless your family and bless your home, bless your children. So to put your full trust in God. He loves you. He cares for you. And he wants to bless you. But he does not force his way into your life, into your circumstances. You need to invite him not only into your life to save you, but it's your family, into your uh, in situation, into whatever things that you are dealing with. Don't go to God when nothing else works. Go to God first and see what God will do for you. Well, keep trusting God. Keep believing God. And if you have not yet received Jesus as your Savior, just say, Dear Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Forgive me. I admit I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Save me. I receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Amen. If you pray that, 
or something similar, <clears throat> sincerely, Christ will come in to your heart and he will be your savior. And you are now a follower of Jesus. Tell others about it and keep watching this broadcast. Find a good Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church. Make that your home because that's where you'll get more encouragement, more teaching, more training. Well, God richly bless you. Thank you for joining us this evening on Prayer for America and for the nations and for you. Well, Brother Tony, Sister Marge, any final words? I saw Larry Craig come on here and uh, he's seen the same things in our meetings in, in Bolivia when we were all together. Praise God, praise God. Amen, amen and amen. Well, God is working by his spirit, by his power. If we will only open up to him, he will work in our lives. So. Uh, open up to the Lord. Keep praying. Keep praying for America. And if you are another nation, pray for your nation by taking down those principalities and demonic spirits that are operating, trying to influence those in government. Bring those down. Bind those in the name of Jesus and release the Holy Spirit. Pray for the leaders of your nation and God will answer prayer because he does. He hears our prayer this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Amen. Well, God bless you, Brother Tony, yes. Sister Marge. Yes, I just wanted to say God is so good and every good and perfect gift comes from him. So everything that you need, Everything good, healing, salvation, it comes from him. Receive it, as Brother Walter has said, and just thank him for it because he is so good and he loves you. Amen. Amen. And thank Brother Tom and Cher, Walter. Cher, Cher, Cher. Amen. Please do that so that others can be blessed uh, by pressing share. And um, uh, if, if you press now, I don't know if it'll replay the whole thing, but uh, right as soon as we're done, just press share, share this on your page and also uh, share it with your friends and loved ones. There are many, many who are in need of prayer today. And there were some anointed prayers uh, tonight. And you can go back to other broadcasts as well. Many powerful prayers. And uh, uh, Brother Tom, thank you for putting these on YouTube. And shortly, this will be on YouTube as well. And there you can uh, uh, also watch and invite your friends and share that uh, YouTube link with your friends so that they too may be blessed. And God richly bless you. Good evening here in America. And good morning to you in Europe and Asia. God richly bless you.